Ladies, gentlemen, Speakerhead Squad, what is going on? It is your boy, Speakerhead, and you want to know what I hate when I'm looking at Transformers collections? I hate it when I see these people have all these fantastic figures, but every single figure is standing the exact same way. Like, seriously, it's like they just pulled it off an assembly line and just put it on their shelf. Or better yet, they pulled it straight out of the package and put it on the shelf. But regardless, I hate seeing every single figure just standing the exact same way, arms down, facing straight. It just looks super lifeless and boring and honestly like the person doesn't even care. That's why I personally put a lot of pride into every single pose I put in my figures. Even if it isn't the most crazy or spectacular pose, I make sure that they're posed so that way they look alive. Because if I'm spending all this money on these Transformers, I want to make sure they look good on my shelves. Because I see so many collections having the figures all standing the same way, I figured I'd just give a couple of tips and show some options for poses you can do. And a lot of these poses you're able to do and they won't take up a lot of space at all. So sit back and relax and let me show you a few different poses you can put your Transformers in to really make your display come to life. But before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know that I do stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 6 p.m central standard time we play video games and listen to lo-fi music so it's a nice chill time so you should definitely stop by and say hey but without further ado let's get into the video so the first pose i want to talk about is just your regular stance all you do is slightly rotate the legs outward slightly bend the elbows slightly rotate the lower arms inward and maybe slightly bring the shoulders outward if your figure has a waist rotation you can slightly turn that left or right but make sure that the head is facing forward. Other than that, it goes from boring and lifeless to ready to move and alive. Here's a few photos to show you guys exactly what I mean. So the next pose I want to talk about is the walking pose. So for the walking pose, you want to first bend both knees 45 degrees. Next, you want to bring one leg forward and one leg back. Then you just want to adjust your leg so that way the figure is standing stable. After that, slightly bend both elbows. Next, slightly rotate both arms inward. Now, depending on which leg you put forward, you want to bring that arm backwards. Then the opposite arm, you're going to want to rotate forwards. Finally, if you'd like, you can rotate the chest slightly left or right. Other than that, you have a figure in a nice walking position. I personally love this pose because it really just makes the figures look like they're alive and in motion. Then you can modify this pose into a running stance so that way they really look like they're moving. So the next pose I want to talk about is a shooting action pose. First you want to bend one of the knees 45 degrees. Then you want to rotate that same leg forward 45 degrees. From there bring the opposite leg outward to the side. You may need to adjust the leg to make the figure sturdy. After that bring the arm with the blaster up 90 degrees. After that, turn the head and blaster so that way the figure is looking down the sight. With the opposite arm, bend that elbow 45 degrees. Then rotate that arm inwards. Then finally rotate the figure's waist so the figure's head is facing straight. And there you have a nice action pose for your figure. Just like the other two, I'll put up a couple photos just to show you guys what it's like. And to show you guys the real difference it makes. Just like the other poses, you can tweak this one however you like. So moving on to the next pose. So the next pose I want to talk about is the kneeling action pose, and it's super easy to do. So for starters, you want to bend both knees 90 degrees. From there, you want to bring whichever leg you'd like forward as far as you can. I always find it helpful to rotate the back leg inward for stability. Next you want to rotate the chest whichever way the forward leg is. From there adjust the head and the blaster so that way the figure is looking down the side of the blaster. The opposite arm bend that 45 degrees. Then bend the shoulder outwards. Next rotate the lower arm inwards. 
finally adjust everything so the figure's head and blaster are facing forward. And there you have a nice kneeling pose to put on display. This pose is fantastic, but not every single figure can pull it off, so make sure your figure can at least bend their knees 90 degrees. But overall, this pose is great for any figure that might not fit in the shelf correctly, such as a titan or a giant figure in general. So for this final pose, it's going to be a figure standing on an object. I personally like this one, it just really adds some life to the character and really makes that figure stand out compared to the rest standing straight on the ground. So to do this pose, you're going to want to bend one of the knees 90 degrees. After that, you're going to want to bend that leg forward 90 degrees. From there, bring the object that you would like the figure to stand on and adjust the leg so it's properly standing on it. Next, you're going to want to rotate the chest so it's facing the same way as the forward leg. Next, bring your arm with the blaster up. Then just like the previous pose, you want to adjust the blaster and the figure's head so that way it's looking down the sight. Next, you're going to want to bend the opposite arm's elbow about 45 degrees. Then you want to bring the shoulder out slightly shy of 45 degrees. Finally, you want to rotate the arm inwards. And there you have another nice action pose for your figures. I personally love putting my Megatron in this pose. It's such an intimidating pose and makes him just look so good. But I'll put some more photos up so you guys can see that this pose works with every figure. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be all the poses I have to show you guys today. Now, I know these poses aren't anything crazy, but they look 10 times better than just having your figure stand straight in the line. Once again, I'll throw up a couple comparison photos so you guys can really see the difference these poses make. But overall, let me know if there's any poses that I missed or if there's any you want to see in any future videos. But if you guys want to see me make a video on more complicated poses, let me know in the comments below. But if you guys did like this video or found it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. It really does help me out and shows you guys enjoyed the content. But that's going to be it for me, guys. I appreciate everyone checking out the video and I will see all y'all in the next one. Peace.